Hello. And hello, and welcome to another week at Might, Might and Kids. Our God is so amazing. He's worth our celebration He deserves the loudest voice I don't know about you but I came here today To celebrate God in every song we sing And every game we play To celebrate God you've been enjoying our time together over the last few weeks journeying through the Bible. Hmm, I wonder where Tim has gone. Well hello. Hello, how are you getting on? Yeah, I'm doing well thanks. Well guys, so far we've been learning uh, last week, haven't we, uh, about Moses. Yeah, do you guys remember what happened at the end of the story last week? Um. Uh, I tell you, I can remember. Yeah, go on. It was when Moses led his people out of Egypt. Is that right? Yeah, they were finally free from Pharaoh. And so what, what, what are we going to learn about today? What's next in our story? Well, we're going to find out what happens um, on that journey after um, they leave um, that place of slavery. What should we see what happens? I think this week... There is going to be a big C. Oh. Oh. Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Moses and God's people escaped out of Egypt and into the wilderness. They didn't know the way, but God knew the way and he would show them. I will bring you to a new home, a special land, God promised them. I will look after you. I am with you. God sent a big cloud for them to follow. A pillar of smoke stretching up into the sky. It moved in front of them as they walked and shaded them from the blazing heat of the day. And when it was time to rest, it stopped. All through the cold desert nights, it kept them warm, glowing like a fire. God led his people through the desert to the edge of a great sea. They were just wondering how to cross it when suddenly they heard a terrible thundering and pounding. It sounded almost like horses' hooves. They shaded their eyes to look back and screamed. It was! Pharaoh and his army were coming to get them. Pharaoh had changed his mind again. Get my slaves back! He screeched and charged out into the desert after them with 600 of his fastest horsemen and every single chariot in Egypt. What were God's people going to do? In front of them, there was a big sea. It was so big, there was no way round it. But there was no way through it. It was too deep. And they didn't have any boats, so they couldn't sail across, and they couldn't swim across because it was too far, and they would drown. And they couldn't turn back because Pharaoh was chasing them. They could see the flashing swords now, glinting in the baking sun, and the dust clouds, and chariot after scary chariot surging towards them. So they did the only thing that there was left to do. Panic! Oh my goodness, Grace! I can't believe Pharaoh changed his mind again. I thought that they were going to be free from Pharaoh. I know. What a sticky situation they're in now. Mm. I wonder what's going to happen next. What would you do in this situation? Mm. Mm. Well, let's see what the Israelites did next. We're going to die, they shrieked. Don't be afraid, Moses said. But there's nothing we can do, they screamed. 
God knows you can't do anything, Moses said. God will do it for you. Trust him and watch. But there's no way out, they cried. God will make a way, Moses said. God made the pillar of smoke move. It moved behind his people and hid them from the Egyptians. Then God sent a strong east wind to blow all night long. It blew on the water of the big sea. It blew it to the left and it blew it to the right until it blew it into two towering walls of water. And there, right through the middle of the sea, a muddy pathway opened up and God's people walked across on dry land. When the Egyptians tried to follow, the walls of water crashed back down on them and swallowed them up. God's people were safe. They danced and laughed and sang and thanked God. When there had been no way out, God had made a way. Many years later, once again, God was going to make a way where there was no way. From the beginning, God's children had been running from him and hiding. God knew his children could never be happy without him, but they couldn't get back to him by themselves. They were lost. They didn't know the way back. But God knew the way. And one day, he would show them. Well, Grace, what an incredible story that was. Wasn't God's rescue plan amazing? And it would have been so easy for us to have done the exact same thing that the Israelites did and panic. But Moses reminded them to trust in God. You see, he was with them the whole time. He did the impossible. He parted the sea so that they could be free and safe. What an incredible rescue God provided for them. And it shows to us, doesn't it, that we should also trust God. You see, this story points to a much bigger and greater rescue. Well, tell me more, Grace. Well, it's our rescue, isn't it? Of course, yes. And do you know who the rescuer is? I know who the rescuer Go is. On, it's Jesus, of course. Uh, you see, he rescued us because he took on our punishment by dying on the cross so that we could be friends with God. Well, you see, as the story pointed out, we've always wanted to be the boss of our own lives. We've always wanted to do our own thing and say no to God. But God loves us so much that he had a bigger rescue, even bigger than the rescue of the Israelites in mind. And that was to rescue all of mankind. And he did that through sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for us, for all of us, so that we can be made right with God. We can be friends with God again. That is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Isn't that such great news? And you know, we can really trust in Jesus' death for us, knowing that that will mean that we are saved. Well, now we're going to sing a new song. It's called Rescuer. And it's all about how Jesus is our rescuer. Now, if you're old enough, you might want to think about some of the words to sing along. And if not, it's a really fun video that you could dance along to and just enjoy. I'll teach you a couple of the words now. The chorus goes, he's our rescuer. He's our rescuer. We are free from sin forevermore. And then it says... Oh, how sweet the sound. Oh, how grace abounds. We will praise the Lord, our rescuer. And so I hope you enjoyed this fun video now. 